Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I welcome you all in this video. Today we are going to discuss about class by Vilya belonging to the phylum Mollusk. So basically there are around 30,000 species which belong to the class by Vilya and they include clams, mussels and oysters. From a prospector, oysters are used both for pearls production and for eating purpose as well. So the class Bivalia, as the name indicates, it basically belongs to two leaves and it's the largest mollusk belonging in this region and it also in formed by mantle. Now, if we talk about the general structure, the general structure is basically composed of two halves of these mantles and this uh, two halves of these shells are actually uh, joined together and this joining is being facilitated by adductor muscles. The most thickest portion is called umbo and this umbo is the oldest part in the shell. The newly evolving extension or the growth is being reported at the margins at these margins outer boundaries. The outer boundaries are represented by the youngest and this one is the oldest region and this is the ligament so these fragments will open like this part will open like a copy or a book so the gas exchange process in these by valves usually initiate from an incurrent aperture from where the uh, and the water enters and this water passes through the gills and the gills are actually receiving those air as indicated by blue lines over here and they are transmitted across the body in the, the same way this folded gill structure is actually increasing the surface area for ample amount of gaseous exchange digestion mechanism the actual route of entry of the food particle is also facilitated by the same incurrent opening at the posterior margin of these bivalves and this is the interior margin this is the dorsal surface and this is the posterior surface so a quick look interior posterior posterior contains anus interior margins contain towards the mouth embo is the thickest part and this is the anterior region followed by a posterior region so extension is also facilitated in this direction towards the anterior end so once the food particles want to enter are uh, they are facilitated by the flow of water currents and they travel across the gills and they are being checked at the labial pulp so all those particles which are required by the body are ingested by a food uh, by a mouth like structure to move inside while all those things which are not required by the shells they are being thrown inside and they are called as pseudofeces so the digestion process is mainly composed of a consolidated mucoid structures and they are called stylus mass and this mass has actually been entered over here and this is blue line is actually representing the digestive tract so the anus is actually lying in the posterior ex, uh, close to the excrement opening both the enzymes for carbohydrates and fats are being incorporated in the style and the style is what you can say is the food and bolus formation present in a esophagus like thing or a uh, duct over here as mentioned in this the picture now the circulation in bivalves is usually open circulatory system so by open circulatory system means that the blood directly soak the it different sinuses and cavities across these mollusks uh, mollusk bivalves okay in phylum mollusk by Vivilia, most common examples oysters and austere formings are of prime importance okay so this is the very brief introduction and a concise summary about bivalves thank you very much for your attention and time